Hi, I'm Nathaniel Long, and I'm a junior at Greenwich High School. Hi, I'm Joseph Peters, and I'm also a junior at Greenwich High. Hi, I'm Ethan Paul, and I'm a senior at Greenwich High School. Hi, I'm Ethan Novak, and I'm a sophomore at Greenwich High School. Every year, around 34 million tons of paper goes into our landfills, greatly contaminating our environment. Around 3.4 million people die annually from waterborne diseases, and the World Health Organization estimates that 280 million people lack access to clean water. We propose to convert newspaper into an activated charcoal water purification system. The purification system uses newspaper as its core component and is made completely of recycled or repurposed common household materials. The system will be able to purify contaminated water into potable drinking water in an easy and effective process. Our system is composed of household items including medical gauze, a plastic disposable water bottle, a coffee filter, cotton balls, and a metal bean can. To begin the charcoal making process, we first put the shredded newspaper into our metal bean can, which we then sealed tightly and inverted it so the newspaper would burn in the absence of oxygen and create the charcoal needed for our activated carbon filter. While we wait for our newspaper to burn, we begin creating our filter apparatus. By first cutting in half a water bottle and collecting rainwater as our input to our system. In a control test we conducted with just filter paper, not charcoal, the water was still very murky, as you can see. Once the newspaper has finished burning, we flip over the can, open it, and began sifting through the mix of charcoal and unburnt paper. We then grind up the charcoal with a mortar and pestle until it has the consistency of a fine powder. Once we have the charcoal all grounded up, we fold it in filter paper and sandwich it in between cotton balls and medical gauze in the water bottle, as shown in the diagram. For the final test, we placed our activated carbon filter above our control filter to prove that this addition was better. We then waited overnight for a sizable amount of filtered water to accumulate. We found that the water that was run through the carbon is much cleaner than the control, which leads us to our conclusion. The water purification system uses the highest surface area of the activated carbon, which is over 500 square meters per gram, to filter water which contains lots of organic substances and separates it out through this high surface area medium. The high surface area medium allows the water to go through while the organic substances get dissolved or absorbed in the actual medium itself. We hope that this technology can be applied to the real world to help the millions of thirsty people.